This is old cam. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be talking about the changing face of viral video. Yeah, because most, if you look carefully, most viral, most of the sites that exist are all going long form. They're basically abandoning the short form because what happens is the short form is actually there's too many people doing short form videos and it's eating up bandwidth. Long form video <clears throat> is more attractive to sponsors than short form also and they're all trying to get sponsors now. Why is it more attractive to sponsors? Because uh, they, basically uh, a long form thing has you an opportunity to place more spots throughout your project. A short one is basically heading or telling, and if you head it or tell it, they won't watch it. So. Well, the other part is too is um, on the videos. They're looking at videos. They're actually looking at more like webisodes. Yeah. As they call them. And in addition to that, um, what was the other thing that they're looking for? Oh, yeah, and placing ads and placing. They want ads. things that are placing ads. They're wanting things that are more of a general nature than uh, what most people put on because I mean for a lot of things I mean we're revenue partners with with one organization and we're not revenue partners with them because it depends upon advertisers because we got I mean they'll advertise on one video that we put up and they won't advertise the same company will not advertise on the next one mm -hmm. then they'll advertise on the one that follows it so we have no real idea what they want but I do know it's all changing you're going I mean we keep telling people it is dying YouTube is now going to video rentals. When they okay, we, we generally don't get all the responses that people send in to us. But at the bottom of the responses we do get which say YouTube just lets you know YouTube is now renting videos. Mm -hmm. That's where they're heading. They're heading towards being uh, to crushing Netflix. And when they do that, everything's gonna be pushed towards the rental of new videos and doing like you said, their web webisodes they want mm -hmm. people to start producing. The same thing with Daily Motion. Daily Motion is shifting to web episodes, longer pieces of web episodes that are more creative. So it's why, you know, people might grump about some of the creative things we do, but the creative things we do are in order to keep it on. They say, well, these people have done this. Well, yeah, and they're also paying for it. Mm -hmm. Same as on YouTube. If you can pay for things, if, if you see people, you know, showing their backside, they're generally paying to be that privilege. Well, part of it also is when you look at these, some of the videos get a lot more hits than others. And in many instances, they are paying for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you pay for placement. Mm -hmm. You pay for hits. That's how it works, you know, and we don't pay. We're, you know, they allow us to be on because we provide, uh, we provide a service. You know, like, um, we do, old cam is basically, you look at, well, how can you do that thing? Because it's got zero, zero, zero. Well, because you go backwards, it's got a 20, 30, 100, 150. Well, also one of the things they look at is not only how many views you have, but because we're syndicated, we don't block it off. Because um, sometimes if you're, for example, if we were not syndicated, we'd probably get more views on a lot yeah, of the videos. If, if we just lock it up to where you can't download it. We mm -hmm. download it. I mean, here's the thing. One of our videos has only one download, and it's got 150,000 likes. Mm-hmm. That's because that one person put it over on their site and then they took it from that site. Mm -hmm. We have another one that had like 11 down. Actually, uh, everybody knows the chair dog always gets the most hits. She always does. When she, anything she does, she gets the most hits. We had the largest... Well, we have the fewest number of videos up there. We had the fewest number of videos. But she, um, you know, the one site that basically went down, she had the top amount of hits on the entire site. Mm -hmm. And only 11 downloads... You know, I said 11 views and it, it, it had, um, I got, I don't know, like a million or something links to it. So mm -hmm. really a lot of links. But that's, that's it. And um, the problem comes is when you're moving the things off of their sites, people are basically downloading the thing and then they're removing the company's mm -hmm. logo and our heads and tails on things. And so they're getting rid of advertising and all this. And they, it's basically killing the websites. It's just YouTube is constantly buying new, new companies for compression. It's mm -hmm. all about compression. Mm -hmm. but she'll tell you, uh, I have better compression on my equipment than she has on her equipment. Yeah. And you have better um, compression on some software than the others. Yeah. It's all got to do with the software because if we, um, I don't know, we do things in Windows Media and MPEG. And MPEG. 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 And, you know, and um, 
there is a difference. Okay, she can do a thing on. She has her program that she loves, and I have mine, which I use. I use certain programs strictly for compression. She likes other programs for editing. But my compression is about twice her size on my program as she gets on the paper to her. So she ends up with a bigger file than mine. I mean, I actually, I've turned files over to her that were like this, and then when she got done, they were like that. Mm -hmm. Because it's a different editing, different editors. We do have, I mean, we have, we have the same, we have um, computers that basically have the same editing system on them. But I have one that I use, I love it because it's just compression. I can turn an MPEG into a Windows Media. Well, and part of it is we've had to change some of these because I know on some of mine, we're looking at a 10 minute video that's over a gigabyte. Yep. Right? And a gigabyte is, takes a long time to upload. Yep. So we need to compress it. And it's uh, under no circumstances could we do a long form video with an MPEG. I mean, there's no such thing as an MPEG 2, MPEG 3, MPEG 4 that you can get. Uh, a long form video um, because I got a. Um, Believe me, I've tried. You know, after it gets like to 350, 400 megabytes, um, it really starts having problems in the MPEG format. No, because uh, we, we've got a piece. We've got a piece of music which you haven't seen yet called, you know, it's the is the uh, Cool C Slide, and the Cool C Slide is a piece of music is a music video that's 60 gigabytes in size. Mm -hmm. 60. And you know that is it. If it's in your, you know that's a MPEG form, and basically it gives you, I mean, um, it gives you the best quality, but you can't load that to the internet, so you have to switch over to Windows Media, and you go from a, a 1090 down to a 720 mm -hmm. in order to get it. Uh, you know, actually it's 19, 1980 down to 720 in order to get it, so you can actually get it loaded on the internet because they got a two gigabyte. Most of them have a one to two gigabyte load capacity and we cannot do it. I mean, God, it takes you forever to load. We've loaded full-length features onto the internet. Mm -hmm. We are, um, we've loaded you know, hour-long things onto the internet and it can take me three or four hours with the, comp with the compression down on it to load it up. Mm -hmm. And I mean, uh, uh, like we also, let people know, we load over to, um, we also do things for uh, CNN's I report, which you know, please watch it because I think they'd be very happy if you watched it. Because actually, we're getting more on CNN than we are over on YouTube, which is funny. Oh, are we really? Yeah, with the same piece over on. Actually, we I re-edit. Okay, what happens is the CNN pieces are hyphenated. They're basically shortened pieces of stuff going on YouTube, and the shorter pieces on CNN I report are getting more hits than the pieces over on YouTube now, but later they'll get it because we're not getting off the track. The internet is like the Library of Alexandria. It is archival. Mm -hmm. People don't get, they don't come to OCAM to find out what happened today. They come to OCAM to find out what happened six months ago. Well, because it's also the only place I know where you can go on the internet and find out news. Yeah. In one location about what happened, what, a, a week ago, a month ago, yeah. six months ago. And, uh, so Everything else, it's like that, that day. So it looks like, you said, well, how can they keep you on the air when you're zero? Well, because it's not zero six months ago. And because we post on a regular basis, people always want to syndicate ours and use it as feeders so yeah. they always have new content. That's right. I mean, we're all over, um, what is it, I think, Old Cam is like in 100 and, well, it was 168 different languages. Mm -hmm. And they say, well, how can it be 168 languages? You've got a zero. Well, because they only, they, only, they only have to push a button once and it's all over the Internet. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but it, the nature is changing because, I mean, uh, but if people pay any attention, we're actually, we're syndicated, we're, we're, uh, our company is syndicated everywhere for real. We've got um, seven different channels we're syndicated on. We're getting ready to go on Blip TV as soon as we get the paperwork and we're figured out, God, I'll find it, it's just awful paperwork. And we're going to be going, we're, we're on Justin TV, which we've got to do more of. Mm -hmm. we're, on, we're basically on live stream, which we've got to do more of. We're on Vimeo, which we're going to do more of. I mean, we're, our 3D stuff is featured all over the world mm -hmm. because um, we do things we call the, uh, we, what we do, we have our own source of, uh, we, basically we can 2D and 3D a, product, a project on the screen in front of you at the same time so you can decide to wear your glasses or not. 
and then we're also getting ready to move over into um, pa into a passive blast system other than the, the red cayenne so we're going to be able to do you can basically be able to see it in a 2d a 3d with the anim an anagraph and the other passive so we're all part of it is we're changing and we keep changing yeah but it requires more and more work i mean we're talking to people at a trade show last week about how you know how many people you have and we said we got too many, not enough. We, we have, we Which have, is normal. Yeah, we need considerably more people. But um, the problem comes though with the changing of the viral system, is which we actually, we're, we've been there since day one of viral video. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a perfectly honest thing. We did break the news of Google buying YouTube. We broke it at a, a home entertainment thing where all the executives are in there. And, you know, we're very proud of the fact I mean, we, we cleaned out the room <laughs> when the guy was running the thing who really did walk. No, everybody knows it's a rumor. said, no, they did it. We just, you know, we just checked with the, you know, what? We, you know, we checked with the Wall Street Journal, remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then he's, and he calls up his people. Oh, my God. And he goes into the room. We got some breaking news. YouTube, uh, Google has just changed the landscape. They have bought YouTube for X amount of dollars. It's a, you know. We're the only ones left in the room because we'd already had it out because of viral video. Mm -hmm. um, the news industry is changing because of viral video because they're no longer hiring as many news people. We're also talking to people. Well, you know, I'm no. We're at, actually the last two trade shows we went to. We you know the news people. They're all talking about the fact that you know we're not working very much anymore mm -hmm. because the guys with the the little point and shoot cameras and the cell phones. Are basically taking their place. I mean, we're now we're going. We go live from a tablet now. You know, we are trying to make the thing work. So I I I, I figured out. Well, here's a here's a tip. You have a front cam. We have a front pointing camera and a back pointing camera. The front pointing camera is to shoot out there. The back pointing camera is for video chat. That's 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 all we got to do. It's just a video chat thing. So if we just do it as a video chat and then record it, and then record it, we and then you you do a video chat, record it, and then upload it. If we now have that. We're, learn, we're learning a few things. No, it's just because it's not a lot of stuff we're not we haven't done. We did it, we we did it first at the uh, NAB, then we did it over at the Long Beach Grand Prix, and we basically been trying to find places where you can go live, but there are places there there are dead zones. A lot of where places where we go, you can't get a. Uh, you can't get a phone connection. No, no. Uh, oh, that's true because you think that you should, and we're just not talking to any phone connection because we have our own broadband we card. We carry our own broadband card with us, and we have been to places that are. But uh, we were at Disney yesterday. You know, after, we went to Disney after our, after our trade show, which is you know actually wind power. People, you know, the uh, wind power is growing, whether you like it or not, is growing. Mm -hmm. But um, we could not get a broadband signal in some parts of Anna, in some parts of Disney. It does not exist because she because makes it, the shape of the building. Because shape of the building, and uh, you know she goes into withdrawal if she can't be on the internet side. I know he was laughing at me about that. But we want to be able to go do more live stuff for people because that's live viral is what the, what the next step is. Mm -hmm. Because um, you know we would like to be doing it. We are we are really working towards doing this all stuff live. So. But um, we're having a problem going, getting onto the internet because our, you know, we got got a whole big card. Well, you know, here's the biggest challenge: is if you tell everybody you're going to go live, and you get to the the location, and you can't find out, and you can't go live because of the way the situation is. Yeah. It kind of screws things up. Because you know, like at, uh, at in Las Vegas at the at the two of the convention center, Sands Convention Center. If you get down below the bottom, you can't get a signal up because we were we were we were privileged to the debut of the iPhone. You know, actually, no, the, the Sony the Sony thing, the Sony the Google phone is what it was, oh. Google phone, and they're apologizing. It doesn't work. You know, it worked. They were in a dead area. Yeah, I know. That's well. Let's just say that's always the embarrassing part when you're at a press conference and they're demonstrating the equipment and they can't get a phone connection. We did that. We've seen it happen. We've uh, we've been at uh, home, we've been uh, home entertainment things where the people are basically the gentleman is showing us um, uh, how you can basically load that you know how the, a lot of DVDs come out in multiple forms. One is a download, internet download. Mm -hmm. He thing did no internet. He said, "Well, it worked when I was rehearsing." And then the guy said, "Yeah, but you didn't do it in this building." Mm -hmm. 
and it didn't work. But that's where that's where the new form of viral video is going to live. Go look at the, go look at virtually every site. They all have live uploads now. We can we can go we can basically send our material in to, to uh, CNN I report live over our equipment. You know, uh, and they want they they actually encourage you live. Local TV stations have uh, for live Fox News. Basically, you know, you know, if you got your cell phone thing, you know, or your whatever it is, take, send it and get us live. And then they worry about the, you know, editing, you know, because they're basically their equipment can do it within a minute or something. After you send them something, they've got it all done, so it can basically be vetted. That's a that's a thing too. You're going to start seeing more things on viral video that says not vetted. Mm. You know, because we have things that are vetted and not vetted. Vetted means that it's something that they've been able to... Uh, okay, here's the way news business used to work. You couldn't just simply, well, I know they're guilty because that person over there told me they were guilty, but that person never saw anything. That's not how the news business works. You, in order to be vetted, you have to have first-hand knowledge that happened. You had to have a direct witness, not somebody that talked to somebody that talked to somebody. So... Um, You'll see things that say vetted, not vetted on the top of your uh, news items now. And um, it's just like this stuff that we're doing here, this could be basically all vetted because there is no... Uh, we're doing it live and we're only talking about things that everybody else already knows. Unfortunately, you that are watching this don't know it. Well, it's industry knowledge. It's industry knowledge. It's common knowledge of people in the industry that the industry is changing. I mean. YouTube loses money. Daily Motion loses money. Vimeo loses money. Blip TV, for instance, almost vanished. Blip TV's getting like had a million, a billion views. <laughs>